So we're going to have the throttle closed, the choke on, we're going to fire the engine up, and this is how you start a Rotax 912. Clear prop. And I'm going to release the choke. Now I'm going to open my throttle up just a little bit. Clear. According to the Rotax maintenance manual for continued airworthiness, the carburetors need to be removed and inspected every 200 hours. The way I interpret that is, um, I tear the carburetors completely apart. Uh, I clean them, I inspect them, disassemble them, do everything that I can possibly do uh, to make those carburetors uh, like new when I'm done with them. And one of those things is uh, overhaul the carburetors. If you're going to tear the carburetor apart, clean it, inspect it, and then reassemble it, two gaskets, five O-rings, uh, and it's overhauled. And so here at Tommy Aircraft, every 200 hours, we're going to take your carburetors off. We're going to disassemble them, clean, inspect, and your carburetors are going to be in an overhauled status. Uh, this is money well spent. It's fantastic preventative maintenance, and it's going to ensure the longevity and easy starting of your 912 Rotax. Some of the things we find during routine inspections in the carburetor maintenance is safety directives or mandatory service bulletins. Uh, for example, there's a mandatory service bulletin on the floats. And now, actually, there's uh, in the inspection criteria, there's actually a procedure to weigh the floats every 100 hours for continued airworthiness. So these are the kind of things that Tommy Aircraft, we're going to take care of. We're going to check the safety directives. We're going to check the mandatory service bulletins. And we're going to make sure that your aircraft engine or your aircraft is up to compliance.